Hello guys, Deny is with you as always. How pleasant is the feeling when you played a game back in 2004, and then 20 years later, you suddenly see that the developers decided to drop the continuation of the Legendary series. These are the moments of rebirth that I will tell you about today. Here is a pack of Legendary games, the announcement of the continuation of which has already taken place. Click on the like, click on the subscription if you haven't subscribed yet. Well, actually, let's go! It was a great joy for me that the continuation of the Legendary Titan Quest was announced, a full-fledged second part. Although, to be honest, the developers did not forget about the first part either. Periodically, for several years, they released DLS. In the second part of the ancient Greek role-playing action, Nemesis, the goddess of retribution who has lost her mind, is in the center of attention. She infects the threads of fate with corruption and mercilessly punishes anyone who dares to interfere with her. We will interfere if anything. Like the first part of Titan Quest, the sequel offers us a huge world of ancient Greece, full of mythical creatures. The combat system has been improved, and customization has remained at the same level. We can also combine different classes to create our own unique character. Of course, the co-op was also brought into the game. I hope that it will be more adequate than in previous games. The Wolf Among Us 2 is another long-awaited sequel on the list. It has been made for more than 8 years. During this time, the first game has not become outdated at all. This is still one of the best detective quests of our time, where the characters of your favorite fairy tales appear in an unsightly guise. There are few details of the sequel's plot yet. Six months have passed since the events of the first game. The Sheriff Bigby Wolf of Fabletown is investigating a new case involving some fabulous creatures, and that's actually all. It is clear from the trailers that Bigby will face at least the Tin Woodman and the Scarecrow from the Land of Oz. Can't wait to see! The last numbered part of the legendary horror series Silent Hill was released more than 10 years ago. Now Konami has seriously decided to revive the franchise. After the failed experiment of Ascension series, a remake of the second part will be released. The remake will feature advanced graphics based on the Unreal Engine 5, a third-person view, and an updated combat system. The plot is not touched. The Bloober team has stated that they want to preserve the spirit of the original, but there are still some scenario changes. James was made a little older, new scenes were added, and some of the dialogues have been updated. Exactly how it will look is still little known, but it sounds intriguing. And here the long-suffering bloodlines, too. It is long-suffering, because the announcement of the game was as much as five years ago, and since then the game has completely changed its development studio, and after it, the game had to be rebuilt, literally anew. The new developers have abandoned almost all the developments of the previous team. Now the developers are rewriting the plot and changing gameplay mechanics including combat and leveling. I've been waiting for this for a long time, but so far we haven't received any specific release date. So far the developers are focusing on 2024, but apparently closer to the end. Nevertheless, it is definitely necessary to wait for the project, because this is probably one of the best vampire themed games. The original Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine was released in 2011. The announcement of the sequel was a pleasant surprise for fans of the universe. The authors of the zombie shooter World War Z are responsible for the game, which means that dozens of bloodthirsty enemies will simultaneously rush at the main characters. As in the first part, in Space Marine 2, you need to alternate between ranged and melee weapons. Titus has powerful firearms and chainswords at his disposal, tearing Tyranids apart. In in battles with more dangerous enemies, you need to block and counterattack in time. There will be spectacular finishing in the spirit of Doom Eternal. By the way, from recent releases, the game seems to have multiplayer and PvP battles, which sounds very intriguing.
For me personally, it was incredibly pleasant to hear that Smite will release the second part, and although Smythe is an MMO and there is no plot there, the developers from Titanforge Games call Smite 2 a sequel, a completely updated and redesigned game on Unreal Engine 5. It feels like Smite 2 should be like Smite, only better. The authors sought to preserve the combination of battles and MOBA, as well as make the battles more spectacular. Not all 130 gods from the pantheon of the original Smite will be available at the start of the sequel, however, in the end, the developers want to transfer all the characters to the second part. The only thing is that they will not transfer skins. However, every appearance bought by the players for real money in the first part will be compensated by in-game currency. The announcement of PoE 2 was about the same time as the Blizzards with their Diablo 4, but Diablo came out and even managed to die, but the developers of Path of Exile are still in no hurry to release, even in early access. Nevertheless, they announced a lot of content on the game, thereby setting the waiting light on fire. There will be 12 character classes in Path of Exile 2, two for each combination of strength, agility, and intelligence. Although each class specializes in its own style of play, they are just a starting point. You can Combine the skills of many classes by creating your own perfect build. Gameplay is the same as the first part, only improved in all directions. From graphics to a bunch of new upgrade gems and new support gems. In general, improving on all fronts. It remains only to wait for the game itself. Gothic is the only game in today's collection which is not number 2. Nevertheless, this is a full-fledged remake of the Legendary 1. The other day, developers showed a new gameplay video of the game where we are in the mines, playing the role of a petty thief. The game has extremely pleasant graphics, but it is not yet clear if the gameplay has been redesigned. Well, because there are no full-fledged screencasts from the game anyway, as there is no specific release date. The developers are also targeting the second half of this year, but it is not known exactly when. But the release date of Hellblade 2 is known. Moreover, it will be released very soon. The game will be released in a couple of weeks on May 21st. I'm actually a fan of the first part and I'm glad that it made so much noise seven years ago. The first Hellblade was a short, minimalistic adventure. But in the second part, the creators took aim at a saga of epic proportions. The trailer showed mythical giants, changing caves, and a cult with masks. They obviously do not spare money for the sequel, so you can expect a sequel in everything superior to the original. The picture will definitely be better. Judging by the videos recorded on the game engine, the graphics in Hellblade 2 are almost photorealistic. And this is the only game in this collection that has already been released, and which definitely needs to be played. This is Hades 2, which means the same, but better in everything. A game we love, but with new mechanics, with more attractive graphics, and an intriguing plot. As for the plot, by the way, this time we have Hades' daughter, and she has lost all her loved ones and is now preparing to take revenge on Titan Kronos. On the way, she will have to go through the entire realm of the dead and perhaps even go to the surface, but this is not yet certain. I was just passing through there is, but it is still closed. In general, a wonderful thing, not a bit worse than the first part. One of my fastest purchases in Steam. Well, this thing is probably worth remembering a little bit too. Moreover, many of you have fond memories from the first parts of Stalker. According to the story, 17 years have passed since the second accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The wastelands of the exclusion zone are overgrown with grass and poppies, but the danger has not gone away. The main character, a mercenary named Skiff, must get to a certain heart of Chernobyl and decide the fate of the entire zone. Even before the release, it is clear that STLKER2 is many times more ambitious than the previous parts. There will be the first in the series to present a full-fledged open world without loading screens. The artificial intelligence of the enemies will be improved and the shootouts will become even more intense. In addition, the game will have elements of survival. If you do not want to sacrifice the accuracy of the protagonist, feed him on time and send him to sleep. Customization will also be expanded. Body kits like sights and silencers are placed on weapons even on the move, and you can also change the stalker's clothes. However, this will not affect the characteristics.
I love the Age of Empires series, but even more, I love her spin-off Age of Mythology, which I played for probably 200 hours, at least. In fact, everything is waiting for us the same as in the previous article, by different nations, from the Greeks to the Egyptians, where hard workers will run around the world screaming prostagma and everything else, only with good graphics. Something new and unique, it seems, will not be done, and this in general is not bad. Well, that's it for today. I hope the video was interesting, and therefore, you have clicked both to like and to subscribe too. Denis was with you as always, and all the best.